What's going on y'all? All right, I wanna do a quick video how I use my probes to charge a train unit. This is how I do it with the trains. When it's say a Goodman or you know, a, a Ream even or Carrier, da da da, the list goes on, it's different. But with the train, uh, this is how I always check my charge, right here in my true porch, right? Put a true suction down here, your high side there. And then you can just utilize a single hose or in my case, two hoses with the ball valve on my stubby, um, and then check check your points there. I never use a manifold anymore. I just don't see the purpose in it, especially, you know, I mean, we got three devices typically or, or more in terms of phones and iPads and stuff like that. So I, I just hook up my my probes on this side. I keep the ball valve, the stubby in my, my bag here, and then I always have a hose just attached to my 410 pop out the scale get it going um we have a leak but we're going to get that in the evaporator coil we got that part for the customer but we want to get them cooling in the meantime so we're going to charge it uh properly always check your superheat check your sub cool of course pressure temperature charts all that jazz but this is just wanted to do a quick little video on how i use probes to charge there's other ways i'll do another video on how i do it on a different system but basically all i do i take my Schrader core tool and separate it, put it right there, put my probe on the, the core tool, bam, and then I can just isolate it that way. I can check my reading across my, my low side to make sure that's accurate while I'm charging it and not just blasting a refrigerant. But yeah, that's good to do it. So I appreciate y'all. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate y'all that have, and I'll catch you on the next one.